I might be moving on within the next three years and then move to Canada. Breeding a dog which looks pretty in blue eyes. Yeah, there's been a lot in the papers about it recently, hasn't there? Mm -hmm. Kim Rom Sled Dog Centre, it's about nine years old now. And it was really uh, mostly to show people what a way of life is with sled dogs and to take people out on training trips. We do courses as well, but the main thing is to actually give people a real insight into what a sled dog is. This is a specialised training work on dogs. G is right and haw is left. But I also have a lot of different words for different dogs, different leaders. But that's the international kind of language. G haw is in you. We're running on a big wheel, we're running three all the time. Never put tires behind them, tires bounce, and leaving the noise of the tires. They're trained to jump over to one side. The other dogs are trained not to bite them when they come into their park. That's the hard part of training, not to get them. Uh, the ATVs, quad units are actually training devices. We can hold the dogs back. We don't take people out in circus acts. We don't have a dog team that takes, takes people out. We're actually training the dogs all the time. So we're actually putting miles, controlled miles and training trips. We're pairing dogs that have never run beside each other before. So the quads play a, an enormous part in uh, training. I work with my senior leader tonight, Vigo. Let's go home! That was fantastic, yeah, it was lovely. Um, beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, amazing dogs. It was uh, yeah, really educational as well. The guy knows his stuff. These were born, they were my best female, best male. There's a lot of working dogs that are kept as pets that are not suited to it. Border Collies, a lot of gun dogs, Huskies, Malamutes. You know, they all were bred to do a job and they're not allowed to do it anymore, in most cases. It's lovely to see dogs that do.